Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix screen flickering issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to turn off FreeSync or turn off G-Sync. Now, if you have AMD card, um, then in that case, you can turn off the AMD FreeSync in AMD Adrenaline. So you can, over here, you can see AMD FreeSync, you can turn it off and then check. Now, if you're using uh, NVIDIA card, you can go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop, click on NVIDIA control panel. And once the NVIDIA control panel is open, uh, you can find this uh, G-Sync over here and you can uncheck, you can turn off G-Sync and then relaunch the game and then check. This has worked for many player and then check. If it is already off, then in that case, you can turn on for, uh, you can turn on the free sync or G-Sync and then check. And if it is already on, turn it off and then relaunch the game. Next step is to turn off monitors, adaptive refresh rate. Now, if your monitor has this option, adaptive refresh rate, this is also causing uh, issue for many players. So you can turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to disable or enable the Steam overlay. Now, for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to general tab. If this is on, you can turn it off and then check, relaunch the game and then check. If this is already off, you can turn it on and then check. So try both one by one and then relaunch the game. Next step is to close other overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay and then close Discord. If you have NVIDIA app running, you can go to NVIDIA app uh, settings, and then you can go to settings over here and then you can turn off NVIDIA overlay over here. If it, is, if it is already off, you can turn it on. So turn it off and then close NVIDIA app and then check. So close all kinds of overlay application and then check. Do not overclock. You can set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reverb Tuner or any kind of overclocking application running on your computer, you can close it and then launch the game. Close all kinds of third party application on your computer and then check. Now AMD users in AMD Adrenaline, you can disable this AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2. Now, if you if this option AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 is enabled over here, you can turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, try window mode. So for this, you can go to game, go to settings and you can switch to go to display and then you can switch to window mode and then you can check. Now. The next step is to turn on or turn off the V-Sync. So if the V-Sync is like on, you can turn it off and then check. If it is already off, you can turn it on and then check. So try both. In my case, I will just turn it off. Also, the next step is to set right resolution. So for this, uh, you can open Windows settings, go to system, uh, go to display. Over here, you can see the recommended resolution for me is 1920 into 1080p. So you can you can try the same resolution over here. That is 1920 into 1080p. Then you can check. So yeah. So in my case, I don't have it. So you can try the same resolution. If this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more, and then you can check. Now, the next step is to, uh, let me close the game for now. Now, the next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate. Like if your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz, you, may, you can try maybe 120 or 60 hertz and then relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on Find. Now on this page, you will see the latest GeForce Gamer Ready Driver. Whichever is the latest GeForce Gamer Ready Driver, click on View, and then click on Download over here. And once the download is complete, uh, you can run this exe file, and then click on Yes to allow, click on OK, and then click on Agree and Continue. Select Custom option over here, then click on Next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Click on next. After the clean installation, restart can be restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, you can type in graphic settings in Windows search box. And then click on graphic settings. 
click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder in my case the game is installed in this location and then open dispatch folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added find the game and then click on the game over here select high performance you will see your graphic card again click on add desktop app and then go back over here and select the first exe file add it once added click on it and then again select high performance over here relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, now desktop users make sure that you uh, that your monitor uh, you connect the hdmi cable or the display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot and then you can check next step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this you can open windows settings or you can type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings click on advanced graphic settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on relaunch the game and then check you might have to restart your computer once and if it is already on you can turn it off relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game manage browse local files and then open this dispatch folder binaries bin 64 make a right click on the gaming exe file properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game file so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is complete launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the screen flickering issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel